Libre version 27 has released new functionality in the Design Explorer. Here I have this beautiful assembly of an engine, and when I take a look at the assembly, I have a number of subassemblies, some parts, I even have some component patterns. But perhaps I'd like to reorganize my tree to be a little bit more logical and put my parts in one place and my assemblies in another place. Well, I'll move my parts down simply by dragging my parts down the tree. And now I'm able to group all my subassemblies together, all my parts together, and maybe I'd want to move my linear pattern up. So we can rearrange every element in this tree simply by dragging it. You'll notice also that I have rods, nuts, I have uh, some cap screws, and uh, these take up a lot of room in the design tree. Perhaps it would make more sense if I could group them so that I have less elements taking up space in my tree. I can hold the shift key and uh, select all of these. I'll right click and I can say add to new group. I can rename this group to rods. If I wish to view the contents, I can simply double click and see what's inside, but I can collapse it so that I don't have all that room taken up in my tree. I'll do the same thing for nuts. Now you'll notice I have some extra nuts here. I can right click and move to my nuts, or I can simply drag and let it fall into the folder of nuts. And I have my two M3 nuts there. Perhaps I'll choose all of my uh, cheese head cap screws to be in a group, but maybe I've mistakenly selected one too many parts as I've added to new group. I can open up my folder and I can say remove from group if I need to remove anything from the group. Being able to clean up a history tree like this will hopefully provide you a great deal of value when dealing with assemblies. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.